be part of the car up at Kirtland and to celebrate us coming out of lockdown me and my daughter were going to go cross fell I'm not too sure if this is actually technically legal anymore with all the changes and rules and everything else but I don't care anymore that's what we're doing it's a nice day look and uh, that's where we're going first Look, she's marched off into the distance already. I wonder where she gets that from. I'm looking right through here, I better catch up. Now, Cross Fell apparently is the second highest point in England outside the Lake District. And uh, people don't seem to tackle it much, but it's not to be scoffed at. I think it's uh, 880 metres, so it's quite high. And the, uh, it's quite a pleasant walk actually. It's not a sort of steep long range like you get in the lakes. So you go along, look, I'll show you. You go up here, along there, and you go up that valley, and on top of there, cross fells up the top of there somewhere. I noticed earlier on I pointed out a route up the side that was wrong don't go up that valley keep going round the corner and it's up this one actually we, so we go along here up here and then up onto the top and puffing over with. There's a the Lake District over there, look. You can tell the Lake District. I don't know what they're all called. I'm sure someone can tell me. And this bit now, it's just up here, up to there, a bit of flat, and they're virtually there. and puffing done there's just this flat bit to go here up to there and there it is cross fell look at it it really is quite weird it looks almost sort of man-made it's like this weird big pile of stones on top of the mower and there's my technical manager over there and she's telling me we're at 670 meters so if you come up here this is the 670 meter mark and look at the view now That's all the huffing and puffing done. We're at this flat bit now, just in front of this big, well this is cross fell. It looks like a pile of stones. You can if you want go that way and up there, but I'm not advising you to do that because it is lots of very big loose boulders. What you got to do, you got to go down here, there's a cairn over there somewhere and you got the back of it up there. Now if you come up here, Make sure you bring a map and compass, because as you can see, it's pretty 
featureless. If a cloud comes down up here, you'll be in a world of pain. So remember, if you come up here, bring a map and compass, and more importantly, learn how to use it. That's the health and safety bit done. So basically, once you come across that flat bit here, you come to this big cairn here. And once you get to that, you turn right and you go up the hill. That's the top of Cross Fell. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> about if you get lost up here without a map and a compass. I mean, look at it around here. There's nothing for miles. You'd be doomed. <laughs> This is the top, on the top of Crossfell, and just in front of us here, there's a shelter. It does look a little bit like something off Star Wars. What do you think? There it is, the Star Wars house. And people ask why I like coming up here. And do you know why? We've got as far as it's the top of here, and I've not seen a single person yet, not one, not one. So that's the beauty of Crossfell. Been over there, that's the Lake District. I reckon there'll be six million people there this weekend. So why would you want to go there in, a, in the current situation, shall we say? This is what you call a Covid friendly expedition. Lots of fresh air and no people and no coronavirus. Coming over there, what will you describe the weather as coming this way? Angry. The, well, ang the weather looks very, very angry. So we're going to vamoosh out of here. We're going to get stuck in that. Not that I'm scared of it, it's just not much fun. We've left the Star Wars base and Han Solo wasn't in. And we think we better get going because the weather is a changing. That's all it describes it. Very angry looking, and it does look very angry. So we're gonna crack on and get off home. It's also got absolutely biting cold. Once you leave the Star Wars house, you come across the top here, head for this cairn here. the side across fell you come down a bit I think you take a right you head across the path now the path across back to Kirkham this way is not actually that clear really there's a few cairns and things if you look at it it's not that clear is it so if you imagine if the cloud comes in you can easily get lost up here as well so just be careful people because one wrong step and you could be down there and that is the wrong way anyway the sun's come back out now sorry i had to, I had to have a bit of intermission in filming because it started hillstoning quite badly it was uh yeah quite vicious so 
Oh, I don't, don't fancy getting the camera out. Anyway, we're heading back to the Brum Brum now. Points you know, the players behind us were looking very, very angry, and indeed they are. Look at it all now up there. Look, no, that's not much fun. No, it really isn't. I've been stuck in that kind of stuff before, and it's not much fun at all. So, we're going to head off back down to the car now because that's been a good morning's walking. We just got there at just at the right time. I think we better hurry up, it's coming down pretty fast. Really bad, but anyway, we're here now. Here we are. It's not very pretty. There's Holly Pong. Yeah. 